This is the first time we've really attempted to customize aerodynamics for different segments of golfers. So for the SR1 golfer, for example, if he swings less than 90 miles per hour, his ball never sees the really high speeds that a professional golfer would see. So for that golfer, we didn't have to design the same level of drag reduction into this golf ball. Instead, we could focus more on the low speed lift so the ball flies farther. And you can imagine with the SR2, very similar. We we're able to focus on the low speed lift a little bit more without having to worry too much about the high speed drag, but it's really a, a balance of the two. So the SR3, we have to design aerodynamics so that it minimizes the high speed drag and the low speed lift. The new golf balls are all tour level golf balls and the underlying constructions of all three balls are uniquely suited for the golfer's head speeds. So all golfers need to do is to know what their head speed is and be assured when they try that golf ball, either SR1 for under 90 miles per hour, SR2 for 90 to 105, or SR3 for over 105, that that golf ball is gonna perform exactly like they want it to perform and it's gonna feel great.